Hello, my friend. Thank you for tuning in to Busy Bee YouTube channel and on my lesson on ocean animals. I'm Miss Denise, and I'm really happy you're here today. Before we get started on learning about ocean animals, let's do our open shut them song to get our brains ready to learn. Are you ready to sing it with me? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give them both a clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them, right up to your chinny, chin, chin. Circle around your little mouth, but do not let them in. <laughs> good job. Did you not let them in? Good, good. All right, now our brains are ready. We're going to learn about ocean animals. Now, when somebody says to you, what's an ocean animal? You might think of something like a fish. Now, when you think of a fish, you might think of something that looks like this. These are different kind of fish that live in the ocean. There's the fish, big yellow one. There's some striped ones back here, and there's even some little tiny orange ones. And back here in the background, there's some more fish swimming around. But there are bigger fish, and maybe perhaps when you think of a fish, you might think of something that looks like this. Oh yeah, what are these? These are dolphins. Now what would you say if I told you that a dolphin is not a fish. It's true, dolphins aren't fish. Now you might say, but Miss Denise, it lives in the water like a fish. It has fins and flippers like a fish, but it's not a fish. A dolphin is something we call a mammal, and that's different than a fish. So let's talk about the differences between a fish and a mammal. One of the main differences is the way they breathe. Now, fish can breathe underwater. They have these special things on the side of their bodies. They're called gills. And these gills are filled with lots of membranes and blood vessels. And what the fish does is it sucks in a big mouthful of water and it pushes it out through its gills and the little membranes and blood vessels in the gills grab onto all the tiny little oxygen particles and that's how the fish is able to breathe underwater. But the dolphin, which is a mammal and not a fish, cannot breathe underwater. No mammals can breathe underwater. Mammals have lungs. They have to breathe the air out of the water. So when a dolphin needs to breathe, it has to come up to the surface, take a breath, and then go back under the water and hold its breath until it's ready to take another breath. So that's one of the main differences between a fish and a mammal. Fish can breathe underwater with their gills, and mammals have to breathe, uh, breathe above the water using their lungs. So let me just show you a couple of pictures of some Gills, some fish that have gills. Now this is a type of a goldfish, <clears throat> and it has gills. Do you see these red spots right there? The, all that red right there is this fish's gills. That's what this fish uses to breathe underwater. Now here's another picture of some gills on a fish. Now remember, Fish can breathe underwater, but uh, mammals can't, sorry. <laughs> so here's another fish with the gills. Do you see all those lines going down the side of the fish's body? Those are the gills. Those little flaps are actually little bony plates that cover the gills, <clears throat> and the, the fish will open them when he's breathing. So let me show you kind of a really good picture of some gills. This is this fish is called a whale shark. <clears throat> it's actually a type of a shark, and it has gills. Now this is really kind of a good picture. The gills are wide open, so this whale shark is breathing, and you can see all the membranes. See all those little stripes and lines in there? I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's what a fish's gill 
looks like. And that's what a fish uses to breathe underwater. So remember, mammals don't breathe underwater. Mammals, like dolphins, have to come up to the surface <clears throat> to breathe air. So I'm gonna show you real quick a video of a dolphin breathing some air. Did you see that? You just took a breath. Now keep watching. You'll see a little hole on top of the dolphin's head. When it comes up to the surface, it opens the hole and you'll hear a sound. And that's the dolphin taking a breath. Did you see it? You can kind of see the little hole on the top of the dolphin's head. He's gonna do it again. Keep watching. There it was, did you see it? That was the dolphin taking a breath. So that's how a dolphin breathes. A dolphin has to come up to the surface and take a breath. Now the dolphin uses a blowhole. The dolphin doesn't actually breathe through his mouth like we do. The dolphin uses a blowhole. And I'll show you a picture of a blowhole in just a second. But first, I want to show you how a fish looks like when it's breathing underwater. So you can see this fish, see him sucking in gulps of water. And then they push it out through their gills. The gills are here on the side of their face. I don't know if you saw that really good, but anyway, a fish takes gulps of water, pushes it out through its gills, and that's how it's able to breathe underwater. <clears throat> so, that's one of the main differences between a fish and a mammal, is fish can breathe underwater using their gills, and mammals have to come up out of the water to breathe using their lungs. So, let me show you, let's see what, what's a fish and what's a mammal. So this first one that I'm gonna show you, it's just a regular old fish. This is called a trout. Now, if you look real closely right here on all these red spots, his gills are in there somewhere. They're kind of hard to see, but that's a trout that lives in the water, and it's a fish because it breathes with its gills underwater. Now, what about... Okay, what about this? Here's some more fish. You might recognize these, like our friend Nemo and his dad Marlin. These are called clownfish, and these are fish. They have gills. Their gills are here on the side of their face. They're hard to see, but that's where their gills are. <clears throat> now, what about this fish? This is kind of a weird looking fish called a puffer fish. Whoa! Puffer fish will fill themselves up like that, make themselves really big, and all their spinies will stick out when another another um, animal is trying to eat them. So this fish is all puffed up. He was afraid of something, but you can see his gills. They're right there next to his fin. See that black line? That's the puffer fish's gills, and that's what he uses to breathe underwater. Now, one more fish that I want to show you that you're probably familiar with. Let's see if you can guess what it is. What kind of fish is that? Oh, did you say shark? Yes, you're right. That's a shark. That's a gray reef shark. And you can see his gills that he uses to breathe underwater right there. See those little lines going down the side of his face? Well, that's his gills. All sharks are fish. All dolphins are mammals. So those were some examples of some fish. So now let's look at some examples of some mammals. <clears throat> now, we talked about these ones already. Dolphins, dolphins, even though they live in the water, they are not fish. They are mammals. Do you see? Do you see that hole on top of that dolphin's head right there? That's the dolphin's blowhole. That's what the dolphin uses to breathe. When it comes out of the water, it'll open the blowhole like that. And when it goes back in the water, the a flap of skin will cover the hole so the water doesn't go in. So that's what a dolphin uses to breathe. They use their blowhole to breathe out of the water. 
Now let's look at an example of another ocean animal that is a mammal. What is this guy? Oh yes, he's a seal. Now seals spend a lot of their time in the water, but they are mammals, so they have to come out of the water to breathe. And this picture gives you a clue that this one's a mammal because it's already out of the water, isn't it? Fish never come out of the water. They can't live out of the water. So if you see an ocean animal out of the water, you know it's probably a mammal. Or it's definitely not a fish. Now what about, what about this ocean animal? Did you know that even whales are mammals? They are not fish. This whale, you see all those bubbles coming out? This whale just took a breath, went under the water, and some air escaped out of its blowhole. The whale's blowhole is right on top of its head. And so those bubbles are, uh, the air is making little bubbles in the water. But yes, whales aren't fish either. Whales are mammals, just like dolphins. <clears throat> now, here's another mammal. You might maybe not have heard of these, but this, look at this guy, he's cute. Kind of looks like a seal, kind of looks like a walrus, but actually it's called a manatee. Manatees live in the ocean, but they're mammals, so they have to come up to the surface to breathe the air. Now the last one I want to show you is another mammal, another um ocean animal that has to come to the surface to breathe. And if you've ever been to SeaWorld, you've probably seen these before. These are called orcas. Some people call them killer whales. But did you know that orcas aren't even whales? They're not. People call them killer whales, but they're not even whales. They're actually dolphins. They're the biggest dolphin that there is. But they are also mammals. They have to come to the surface to breathe, just like the dolphin and just like the whale, just like the seal. They have to come up to the surface to breathe. So real quick, I want to show you a couple more pictures of different ocean animals that you have probably recognized. What's this one? Whoa, look at that. So colorful. That is called a jellyfish. Now, even though it's called a jellyfish, do you think it's a fish? It's not. Jellyfish is not a fish. Jellyfish doesn't have any gills. So it actually breathes through its skin, through its jelly stuff. That's how a jellyfish breathes. Jellyfish are not mammals or fish. They're from a class of animals called Scyphozoa. Ooh, can you say that? Scyphozoa. Woo, that's kind of fun to say. And look, here's another animal that I want to show you, another ocean animal. And it's called a starfish. But do you think it's really a fish? It is not a fish. Starfish doesn't have gills either. They are not fish. Starfish are from a class of animals called Asteroidea. And guess what? Guess how the starfish breathes? Through its feet. Oh, yes, can you believe that? A starfish breathes through its feet. That's so weird. So there's many, many different kinds of ocean animals. And the two that we were learning about today are mammals and fish. And don't forget the difference between a mammal and a fish. The fish can breathe underwater using its gills and a mammal has to come up to the surface to breathe using its lungs. It was really exciting, really fun learning about these ocean animals. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you want to learn more about ocean animals, feel free to look up some more videos on YouTube. I love watching the videos on octopuses. Did you know octopuses can change the color and texture of their skin to match the surroundings around them? It's true. I hope you enjoyed my lesson. Please tune in again. I will see you next time. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye.